Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite chocolate protein shake. Now, this is a great alternative for all those times where you really just want to reach for that candy bar and you know you shouldn't. <laughs> um, now, it is a vegan-friendly uh, chocolate shake, so don't let that uh, scare you away if you're not a vegan. It's delicious, I promise. So let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. All right, you guys, let's go through everything we're going to need for this shake. So starting off with the protein, I have my chocolate protein powder. It's plant-based, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. If you have your own protein powder at home, that's chocolate, by all means, I'm pretty sure it'll work out. Next, we need some coconut water. I'm using my silk almond and cashew milk. You'll also need almond butter, peanut butter, and honey. Now, for those of you who are vegan, you know there are honey substitutes out there that'll work perfect with this recipe, so bust out the uh, faux honey if you need to. I'll be adding in some chia seed and flax seed, which I have previously ground up in my spice grinder. Um, I just keep them in a small Tupperware and put them in my refrigerator to keep it fresh. You'll need one banana, and don't forget a measuring cup and some measuring spoons. All right, let's get started. So we are going to add in six ounces of coconut water and six ounces of the almond cashew milk. Let's get this protein powder going. Now, my protein powder suggests one scoop. Whatever your container says, just do that. It would probably be best. You don't want to overdo it with the protein. Next up, I'm adding in my chia seed and flax seed, and I'm going to do one tablespoon each. One banana joins the party. Go ahead and peel that, split it in half, and throw it in the blender. Now for the fun part. We will be adding in almond butter, peanut butter, and honey. So when I'm working with almond butter and peanut butter, I notice that they tend to stick to the spoons a lot. So what I do is I take a little bit of cooking oil and I'll spray down my spoon before I scoop it just to kind of help it slide out of the spoon a little bit easier instead of getting stuck. All right, so we're actually going to take two tablespoons of almond butter and add that to the mix. And we'll do one tablespoon of peanut butter.
All right, look for that uh, teaspoon. We're gonna do one teaspoon of honey and add that to our blender. Again, I like to spray down my little spoon just so the honey doesn't stick to it, but that's totally up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. I add in one cup of ice to my shake. Now this is a personal preference. You do not have to add in ice if you don't want to. I just like to, I like the way it makes my uh, shake taste. I always start the blender on chop because I want it to chop everything up. And then after a few seconds, I'll go ahead and hit the liquify button. So that way everything is nice and liquefied. Now that everything is all blended, grab your favorite cup and load that thing up. This is my 24 ounce reusable cup. I don't know if you guys have caught on, but I love these things because I love to take my drinks with me on the go, to the gym, to work, just walk around the house, I don't know. You have successfully created a delicious chocolate shake. You earned it. Enjoy my friends. All right, you guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you add anything to it? Leave it in the comments for me. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.